we're going to show you how to put the pan appliance back to factory default. To do this, you must have console access into the firewall. Let's bring up the console to our firewall, and the first thing that we need to do is restart the appliance. Let's say yes. And now it is starting the process of shutting down all of the services that exist on the firewall and then rebooting it. Okay, so the system is being rebooted and during the boot up process, when it gets to the boot mode, you need to quickly type in main T for maintenance mode. And that's coming up shortly. Here we are, we need to type in main T and now we'll boot up to the maintenance mode. That will lead us to the maintenance recovery page where we can perform many different operations. Within this menu, we will press enter to continue. Let's go ahead and do that. Next, let's go down to factory reset that we see. And doing that, a warning will be provided that all logs and configs will be removed. So make sure that you have a copy of your active configuration. And this factory reset will restore to PAN OS version 507, which we completed in a separate video. So this looks correct and we understand the warning concern. Therefore, we will proceed with the factory reset and press enter. Let's go ahead and do that now. And that is it. So from there, it will start the factory reset process and remove everything from that firewall, which we see what's happening here. Okay, so once that has been completed successfully, we need to go down and reboot our firewall. Let's do that now. Now our firewall returns with a default prompt, which is the model number followed by login. And we are using the PA200 unit, so that's why it says 200 followed by login. Now the username and the password would also be restored back to the default, which would be admin for both options, username and password. But that is how you can do a factory default or factory reset on the PAN appliance.